What is up everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Nickel's YouTube channel. Now before we get to Nicolina's interview, this is a deck list that you should that she used to get top eight at states. And as you see, it is a Vrizian Mewtwo Sizotoad deck. And basically she uses the Vrizian for Verdant Wind, so that way none, none of her Pokemon can be poisoned or sleep, paralyzed. Basically no special conditions because of grass energies. Play Mewtwo because of X Ball is a really, really strong card. Sizotoad is really broke right now with Quake and Punch. She plays a Verbank, a laser, so you can do damage that way. And ask about the one max potion, ask about Spirit Tomb. But hopefully you join the interview, and thanks for watching. What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Nickel's YouTube channel. Today we're doing another States Question Activity with Nicolina. And uh, Nicolina, where are you from? I'm from Maryland, uh, Baltimore to be exact. Okay, and uh, what states are we talking about? Um, we're just going to talk about PA, because my performances at the other ones weren't really anything okay. that we need bring up again ever <laughs> okay so how'd you end up doing a swiss during that tournament um uh well let's see do you, should i do a match recap or just yeah yeah me? yeah that'd be cool well in swiss uh i ended up going 502 yeah wait five no 602 yeah 602, okay. For seven. um and uh i had two ties so but they were not ids uh at the end of the tournament, as a lot of times is the case. Yeah. I actually just tied twice during Swiss. Round one, I started off with a tie um, to a Mega Manectric Verzian Genesect deck. Mega Manectric is going to be pretty hard to deal with for Mewtwo. Uh, I was playing Seismitoad Verzian Mewtwo. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't mention that. But because uh, Mega Manectric only attacks for two energies and has so many hit points, and Mewtwo kind of relies on a lot of energy to do a lot of damage. But, um... So I ended up uh, winning the first game, uh, losing the second game. They were both pretty close. I don't know, just like trying to two-hit Manetrix with Mewtwo, um, trying not to bench Toad. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so that one ended up tying. And then my round two was against a Grudon Landorus deck. Um, my strategy for that was just to kind of try to keep them out of the game as much as possible by Toad Lock in the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, cause once Grudon comes out all powered up, it's kind of lights out. Uh, he does use a lot of energy, so it's a little easier for Mewtwo to do a significant amount of damage to him. But if you let one come up, it can just take four prizes, like, really quick. Um, but um, I ended up winning that Series 2-0. Okay. Um, one was to a deck, though. And the, the second win, I, I ended up actually decking him out. But <laughs> round three was against Toad Puff. <laughs> it was a pretty good matchup for the deck. Just kind of go in with either Toad or Verizian, and you have the type advantage. And they pretty much rely on playing items. So uh, that was a good matchup for the deck. Round four, I played against Egg Stragalgy Verizian, um, which I, I really didn't know how that was going to go. But uh, I guess uh, Toad's pretty good against Exeggutor. And... Uh, Pretty standard, I guess. Just kind of use Toad a lot. Yeah. Um, round five, fighting Manectric, um, which again, another Mega Manectric, so I was like, oh my god, <laughs> <laughs> deal with these monsters. Um, I ended up winning the first game, losing the second game, which is very close because he ended up staying asleep a crucial turn under Toad Lock, and I ended up whiffing a knockout on a Mega Manectric by 10 damage with a Mewtwo, which made that one a very interesting game. Uh, so we tied, and that was my second tie. Okay. So then I played against Don Fan, which I is kind of a weird matchup. Pretty much like if they get set up and get going, there's not too much Mewtwo can like do about it. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I I kind of had to try to hope to like toad lock him out of the supporters in the game, and uh, that's pretty much what happened. Uh, I won the first game, lost the second game, and I won the third game. And then round seven was against Flareon. Um, toad and Trump card really do a lot of work. That matchup. That's true. So it's um, that's really just my strategy. Just get that going as early as possible. Just and I, I managed to get turn one toad on both my games. So I, that's okay. how I won the series. Right. And then it, uh, did you want to hear about top eight or? Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, top eight. Uh, I'm kind of not leaving a lot of room to ask questions. Well, I'm terrible at this. No, no, you're but, good. That's that's fine with me. All right. <laughs> In top eight, I played against a Mega Manectric Leafeon Rough Seas, which was really um, interesting yeah. <laughs> and uh, very difficult for my deck to deal with because, uh, I mean, Toad's not doing a lot there because they're healing off 30 damage every turn. And, uh, I mean, you got to stack a lot of energy on Mewtwo to 
go toe to toe with the Manectrix, and then there's Max Potions, and then there's Leafeon, who responds to the amount of energy on my Mewtwo. So mm -hmm. it was just kind of a really uphill battle that I, I just ended up getting too old and knocked out the top eight. <laughs> well, still, a, a, I mean, top eight's still good, so congratulations. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so why did you decide to play Rizzy and Mewtwo Sidestone? I know we haven't seen this deck, like, at all anymore. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was kind of sort of a thing, like, at Fall Regionals, I don't know, like, this year or last year, whenever it was, but um, I don't know. I kind of randomly just had the idea. Uh, I was just, like, kind of thinking, like, I don't really like any of the decks right now, and I don't feel like they give me, like, a good chance against everything that's being played. And um, the second week, I felt like I was going to have a better picture of what people were going to bring to the, the tournament than the first week. Um, so I just felt like it kind of had, like, a good answer to everything. Okay. A good answer to Toad Mirrors with the Brizian, a good answer to um, random stuff, or, like, Flareon with the Toad, and Mewtwo kind of just handles everything else. That's true. Now, was there any moment that you wanted, like, another max potion, or was it one enough? Um... A second one was definitely on my short list of cards to include, so mm -hmm. I feel like it's it's really good um, for obvious reasons, but I think the one ended up being enough. Um, two would have kind of been like a luxury. Okay. Now, I know the very early, like, Vrizian Mewtwo decks play, like, Energy Switch and Scramble Switch. No. Mm -hmm. Why did you decide not to play those cards? I had Energy Switch in it originally in, like, my first version, but um, I just ended up cutting it for cards that I felt like were really needed for certain matchups like um, the Zero Sick. But um, I don't know. They, that version would still be good. I, it's probably like whichever you prefer. Yeah. So uh, was the One Spirit Tomb, like, was it mostly just used for Verizon Genocide or did you drop it after you like played a computer search? Well, um, I didn't play against any Verizian Genesex that day, so I didn't uh, use it for its, for its intended purpose, which was for Verizian Genesex, which I believe is a pretty good matchup with the Spear Tomb and, like, kind of sketchy without it. But um, mm. it, it, So I did kind of use it for what the second thing you said, um, which is kind of just, like, if I happened to have Computer Search and Spear Tomb and they hadn't played the Ace back, I would toss it down. I also used it um, against Exeggutor to Hex Mirror a lot, so... <laughs> Okay. It's pretty. <laughs> it's kind of useful. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, after playing this list, would you make any changes to it, or you think the list is pretty solid? Um, I think I was gonna say like after the fact, I was going to take out Mr. Mind, but now I think Landers might be back, so I think keeping it would be good. Um, I I really like the list, to be honest. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, nothing I can really think of. Okay. Now, after losing to Mega Renetric, do you think there's anything that the deck could do to beat the deck, or do you think it's just it's an auto-loss? Um, well, I don't think it's an auto-loss, because I I did uh, play it three times in Swiss, mm -hmm. and I I mean, I tied twice in one one, so that's not too bad. Um, but the I think the only reason, like, my top eight match was such a wash was the Leafeons, because, mm -hmm. uh, but I don't think that's, like, a common variant of my Renetric deck. So I think you can play around it or at least like stretch it out to a tie. It's pretty close. Okay. Now after the after all the states tournaments, uh how many championship points do you have currently? I have three hundred and forty six, I think. Okay. Yeah, so That's pretty nice. So uh how many points yeah. are you looking to get? Are you just trying to get the sky's the limit? Well, um I'm gonna go to at least one regionals in the spring and I have some I think a bunch more league challenge points I could get like 30 from league challenges and at least 30 from regionals because I have an empty finish so I, I, my goal is to get 60 more points so and hopefully put me back in the top 32 okay all right wait well um so that regionals is coming up which one is it I'm gonna go to Ontario okay and uh yeah. are you thinking about playing this deck or is there any more decks that are, like piquing your interest I, I really like this for regionals actually um I think it could be really good. I like it because it gives, like, like I said, a good chance against everything. Um, other than that, I have no clue. I mean, we have a month, so a lot of stuff yeah, could happen. That's month. true. But um, yeah. Um. Okay. Well, do you want to give any <laughs> shout outs to anybody? Um, shout out to the Goon Squad. That's it. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, thank you so much for doing this, and good luck at regionals.
Thank you. See you. All right. Bye.